So South Korea's population is 51 million, and 45 million use this one app called Kakao Talk. What is Kakao Talk? It's a messaging app for smartphones. And today I wanted to show you how to set up your account, beautify your profile, and show you other great features that it has. So let's get on to it. Now you're going to open your app store and type out Kakao Talk. And once you install it, you're going to press open. It's going to ask you if you want Kakao to send you notification. I just press allow. And it's going to ask you either a, an email address or a phone number. Now bear in mind, the email address that you enter into your Kakao Talk is permanent. You cannot delete it or change it unless you delete your whole account and unregister your account. That means you would have to start all over again. So pick a good email address that you normally use, or you could just put in your phone number. And since I already have a Kakao account, I'm going to just press login, but you will sign up for it if this is your first time signing up for Kakao Talk. It's going to ask me for my phone number and it's going to send me a verification code. So once you get that code, you're just going to input it in. This is my nickname for my Kakao account, but this is not my Kakao ID. There are two different names that you can use. This name can be changed, but your ID cannot be changed. And where it says sync contacts, let's say you have friends who already have Kakao accounts and you have them under your contact, it will automatically sync their Kakao account to your account. And you have to agree to all the terms and press confirm. And I'm going to put in my legal name the name that is under my, my residence card in Korea and put in my residence number and my phone number as well. It's going to ask for my phone company, but probably not for you if you're not in Korea. And they're going to send me the verification number and I'm going to input that in. And once that is all done, it's going to ask me for my six numerical password. I'm using a face ID just to have more security but you don't need to do that. You could just press allow, press OK. So at the bottom, there's a profile icon, a chat icon, and two other icons that are for shopping. So on top of the profile page, you'll see a search button, an add friend button, music button, settings button. In order to change your profile picture, you're going to press your name and you're going to press edit profile and you see many icons at the bottom. You're gonna press your picture and you could choose from the gallery. You could choose from Kakao Talk, which is another app that you could download. And what's good about Kakao is you can actually download a video to your profile picture with the sound as well. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put another picture into my profile. Like I told you before, you could change your name. This is not permanent. You could change it anytime to whatever you like. And you could also have a message under your name. Now, if you click on the face icon, you could actually put stickers on your background, which is pretty neat and cute. Now, when you click on this icon, this changes your background to different themes. If you don't like those themes, you could just choose a picture from your gallery by pressing the picture icon. Now you could add a text and place it anywhere you like. So this icon is a countdown to your wedding or a special event. Now to add music, press the music icon and you could choose from different styles of the writings. In order to add music, you're going to click on this icon and press add and type in what you want to add press chugahagi and press done press play and enjoy the music hello it's me now if you just want to chat with one friend 
then you're going to go to the profile page and click on one of your friends and press chat but if you like to chat with multiple people you're going to go to the chat page and press start a chat on the top so there's a regular chat secret chat and an open chat if you click on regular chat you can choose the friends that you want to chat with and start chatting and the secret chat is very similar to the regular chat except that when you open the chat it will tell you that it will be only available from the mobile app meaning that you can open your Kakao Talk chats on your phone and on your computer so a secret chat will only be seen on your phone and not on your computer now if you ever want to delete what you wrote you can click on your text for three seconds and the delete button will show up. Once you press the delete button, it will tell you that the message will only be deleted from your chat room and will still be visible to your friends. Now, open chat comes in handy when you need to chat with people who are not your Kakao friends. So when I was having Zoom classes at my school, I had to open a chat room for my students to hand in their homework. And the major difference between regular and secret and open chat is that with open chat, you are opening a link for people to join. So it's like a chat room that you're inviting others to join who don't know your Kakao ID or your phone number. And you could delete it when you need to. So one-on-one -on -one chat is where you share the link for others to join. And whenever they send you something, nobody else can see it. But a group chat is, once they join the chat, whatever you text will be seen by everyone else. So in order to create a chat, you're going to click on create, then make a chat room name. And I'm going to share the link with those who I want to invite. So this is how it'll look to those who are being invited. And here, if I click on the test room for three seconds, I could copy the link, reply to the link, share the link, or delete the link. And if I press on delete, it will give me a choice to delete for everyone or just for me. And if I delete for everyone, it says that the message will be deleted from everyone's chat room. However, it may not be deleted from certain users depending on the Kakao version they're using. Now, if you want to add friends, you're going to go to the profile page and click on add friends. One is a QR code. Now you could scan other people's QR codes or you could show them your QR code that others can scan. You can also add by contacts by putting in their name and phone number or add by Kakao Talk ID. Now I told you in the beginning that your Kakao ID is separate from your profile ID. Now bear in mind your Kakao Talk ID is permanent. You cannot change it. So choose a good Kakao ID. Now, if you want to hide or block friends, you're going to go to the profile page and click on settings. And you're going to click on edit. Now it's going to give you the option to hide your friends. So let me hide a friend right now. Click OK. And press done. Now I'm going to click on settings again. And now this time I'm going to press manage friends. You have hidden friends and block friends. I'm going to click on hidden friends and it says to manage your friends. So if I click on manage friends, it gives me the option to reinstate them back to my friends list or to block their messages or to delete them. So I'm going to delete them. Are you sure you want to delete this user? Even if you delete, you may still receive messages from this user. Okay, if I go to blocked friends, I can manage to block their messages or block their messages and hide my profile where they can't see my profile or send messages to me, or I have the option to unblock them. Now, if you want to unregister and delete your Kakao account, you're going to go to settings and go to general settings and click on privacy and click on manage my personal info unregister from Kakao Talk. You're going to agree. So by clicking unregister from Kakao Talk, you are deleting your account and all your history will be deleted. 
I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, you could comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!